just out here on my Sunday morning walk with pups and we've seen an airplane and a couple of bicycle riders. This pretty bull thistle. I think that's a bull thistle. I know it's a thistle, but I think it's a bull thistle. I don't see them too, too often. I just remember them from our um, flower collections in school. But I think it's really pretty. Happy Jennifer Walk Sunday. <laughs> Just me out here today. Um, I think Kara is still out of town. Her son had an archery tournament this weekend, so she left to go to that. Uh, I didn't even say anything to Stacy. I did say something to Lindsay, but she was watching TV when I came out, so I just decided I'd come out. Um, I'm up to almost a mile and a half now, headed back toward the house now. I think I'm gonna try to do about an hour um, just walking, nothing too extravagant or fancy or fast or anything like that. Just a nice little stroll. I'm doing like 17 minute miles. So like I said, definitely not fast at all, but just enjoying myself too. Listening to my, uh, up and vanished podcast and, um, in season two of it now, I don't know if I've told y'all that or not but I have made it to season two and it's a case in Colorado so it's not quite as interesting as having one that is in Georgia just because Georgia is closer but I think I have seen this hurt case before on a show on investigation discovery or somewhere because bits of it seem kind of familiar to me so I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, I'm just gonna finish up my walk and head back home. They were both here, and I turned around a video and one of them flew away. Monday morning, I guess they missed me. I don't know if she'll come back or not. If she does, I'll come back and video. Hey everybody, just finished running. I'm tired. Not too bad, though. Um, I didn't do the route that I've kind of been going because my supper was going to be got, so I didn't want to, like, go too far. Um, but anyway, so I just kind of did loops, and I'm a little disappointed because what I have been doing is I'll start my watch and get, like, my whole route on my watch warm up cool down run everything but i've been starting my map my run to get just my run so i'll see how far my run was the pace fit and all that well i knew where i should have been hitting about five minutes and that's where i have the uh, voice like feedback is to notify me on monday and wednesday every five minutes because i do time but it didn't go off and i thought well Maybe the other day when I walked, I turned it off because I had thought about turning it off when I was just walking. I didn't come to think of it, think about it later because I remember getting those notifications. Uh, but anyway, so when I went to switch my podcast, yeah, the screen was still open to map my run and I apparently missed the start button. So I don't really know exactly how far I ran. I didn't even for sure know how long I needed to go to get 30 minutes because I knew about how long my, how far I go to warm up usually takes me, but I didn't know exactly. So I actually just ran probably a couple of minutes extra to be sure that I got the 30 in. So I ran until I had 5K distance and then I stopped and like I said it was probably a couple minutes more than 30. I'm not entirely certain but anyway so now I'm gonna go in here and get the pups out. I hope that oh, she just ran down the tire. She was sitting. Maybe she's starting to get bashful. She didn't fly away. She just ran down the tire. wonder if she's on my bumper. She was singing this morning and not pecking. Who knows? Maybe she'll come back. She did come back. Then she flew away again. 
She'd been sitting there for about a minute singing, then she flew away. this dog right here might be losing his mind. I bet there's probably a fly or something in here somewhere because he started barking and he doesn't bark a whole lot um, period but I was doing my Theragun thing and he started barking and went over to the closet and was like looking at the door but I don't see anything and then Another time he kind of jumped up and started looking at the ceiling, so I'm kind of betting he probably saw or heard a fly. I really don't see anything, but I'm guessing that's what it was. Anyway, so I did my lower body workout today. Um, did some uh, Thera, Thera again stuff because every time I do those lower body workouts, I swear they're trying to kill me because <laughs> I know it's just because I haven't ever really done that regularly or at least not for a long time maybe i shouldn't say ever but i haven't done it regularly for a very long time so it is really tough to even do it for 20 minutes but i'm working on it i'm gonna get there and it's you can't jump right into it and just be able to do it perfect so it's gonna take some time but i'll get there and it's a good thing i've got this because it seriously helps i'm probably my hips are probably still going to be sore tomorrow because they're doing a lot of like hip stuff so We'll see how the run goes tomorrow. She was singing a minute ago. I don't know if I started videoing before. I wonder if she's calling her buddy. Who knows? Happy Wednesday, y'all. Just finished my run for Wednesday. Literally just finished. Turned around, headed back toward my house and had to got 2.71 miles in 30 minutes. So not bad. My booty is sore from my lower body workout last night, uh, but it wasn't terrible and it's hot, but again, not terrible. Um, so just kept my feet moving. Um, listening to Up and Vanished podcast still. I'm up to season three now. So keeps me distracted a little bit. I tried to make a couple of phone calls to see if anybody wanted to talk to me while I ran, but nobody I called answered. So I tried calling my cousin, so he didn't answer, which isn't surprising at all. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to finish up my little cool down walk and head in and get the bups and take him out. Hope you guys are having a great day. Out here walking with Atlas. Just got home from work a little bit ago. Our air conditioner at home started making weird noises last night after, it was after midnight, like it was between 1230 and 1, I think because that dog woke me up because at first like I didn't even hear anything it didn't wake me up but then I heard something I told, cause I told him to go back to bed I heard something but when I stood up I opened the door it kind of sounded like Lindsay might have put some clothes in the washing machine and like it was the load was uneven like you know how it sounds funny if you put too much clothes on one side spinning but then I was like no it's not the washing machine and it was part of the air conditioner. I went upstairs and turned it off, let it stay off for a little while and turned it back on. And it wasn't making as much or as bad a noise, but it was still making noise. Um, so I just turned it off and told them to leave it off. And they tried calling people to get it fixed. One guy said he was too busy to call their office and they should be able to get somebody out. But um, hopefully tomorrow because 
Lindsay's off tomorrow, so I won't have to take off, but nobody called my mom back. So, anyway, um, hopefully they'll call back in the morning and they can make it out sometime tomorrow. Our house isn't, like, insufferable, but it is a little on the warm side. So, it should get better after dark, though, when the sun goes down, but I'm glad it's in May, even though it's super hot right now. I think today the high was, like, 90, but at least it's May and not July, so there is that we will be thankful where we can so my mom and Lindsay are going to sam's in chattanooga to get some stuff for church barbecue on saturday so i don't know what i'm gonna do for dinner i'm trying to decide if i want to just go ahead and do my arm workout and maybe go ahead and take a bath and just have them pick me up something or if i want to be the responsible adult that i am and not spend money i've really been spending way too much money lately i've got to curb that so maybe if they'd stop it fast fooding give me a little something it won't be too much money so i don't know we'll see good evening happy friday i have already finished walking atlas Lindsay came out here and walked with me and him our air conditioner is still not fixed but the good news is apparently the guy has finally said they would It'd probably be tomorrow, but maybe tonight. So it's looking like it's gonna be tomorrow. House is warm, but it's not like stifling. So it'll be okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just out here trying to, this is my rest day. So I'm not doing anything like super strenuous or anything like that. Just gonna try and finish closing my rings and just taking a leisurely stroll. I don't have too many more left, I don't think, after walking Atlas, so hopefully maybe I can get it in, in about a mile or so. So, um, I'm not going to do a whole lot tonight because I have to work tomorrow, and then Stephanie is supposed to do my long run with me. I should probably, I'll probably text her in the morning to make sure, but um, she said the other day that she would. Jeremy said he might, but I don't know if he <laughs> I'm just, just be honest, glory to the king. I'm tired, my legs hurt. I'm 40 years old, praise the Lord. Whoop, whoop. Just turned 40. I have not ran in, I don't think I ran all last year. Really? I yeah, I haven't ran. I don't run by myself anymore, praise the Lord. But anyway, did it for this chick. And she's gonna do it again in a few weeks, cause- And glory to God, evidently I did it for myself too. She I did. I think I can make it. She needs to do it for her. But Amanda has left me and gone to Las Vegas, so. No, Amanda has left me. Amanda, oh, if you see this? I don't know if Amanda watches them or not. Maybe I'll send it to her anyway. Oh gosh, <laughs> But she miles. survived. Yes, I'm getting yeah, ice cream we're almost home. to 15. I wanted dinner and I don't care about dinner right now. She I just want wants ice cream. cream. Yes. Wanna go? <laughs> A very cold ice cream. <laughs> we'll go somewhere and get ice cream for sure. Oh my gosh. But we have almost made it 15 miles now. And it's like, I don't know how hot it is. It's very hot. Degrees. 90 at least. 
but she can keep running even with me and Amanda when Amanda comes back. We need to get her back in running shape. Oh she can't run the marathon in January, but she can come and volunteer. I, I'm going back to school, but I'd have fought that struggle. I didn't realize I was her first. I thought she already ran a marathon, but she has not. Nope. I'm real sad I'm missing it. Yeah. <laughs> I did not realize it was her first marathon. It's very sad. I know it. <laughs> Just an observation that I thought of the other day. I'm going to have some funky tan lines before this marathon is over. This is what I normally run in on long run days. I've got Ninjinji socks and maybe like an inch between them and my calf sleeves. Then I've got my right knee all taped up that's starting to come off now. Then my long shorts. So it's gonna be some interesting tan lines. And Atlas wants to walk a little bit more, so I guess I'll let him go a little bit farther. Even though we're not going too much farther because my legs and my feet are tired. Mm -hmm. 